Hey, what's up everybody? Hope everyone is having a wonderful night tonight. It's not one of my normal stream days, I realize this, but I was going to stream Sunday night since I couldn't be here Sunday because my work schedule was stupid. Um, but then things happened and I didn't end up getting to be on last night, so now we're here tonight instead. And good old Rue, I don't know if they're in chat yet or if they're gonna make it tonight or not, had requested that I play a little bit of God of War 2, so I figured we'd play some God of War 2. Spoilers for God of War 1. But Kratos had no need for the love of petty gods. He had found a new family in the warriors of Sparta, gaining solace from his past in the carnage of battle. My lord, Kratos! Another city is ready to fall! Soon all shall know the glory of Sparta! Enough, Kratos! With every city you destroy, the wrath of Olympus grows. Soon I will no longer be able to protect you. I need no protection. Do not forget that it was I who made you a god, Ghost of Sparta. Do not turn your back on me. I owe you nothing. Then you leave me no choice. Kratos had turned the pain of his memories into hatred. Hatred for the gods who had refused to free him from the nightmares of his past deeds. And so he went to Rhodes to deliver the final blow to the besieged city. Hey, Mr. Noodle. Thank you for being here, love. Very cool. All right, so that was kind of the intro. Uh, yeah, so sorry. Spoilers for God of War 1, if you've never played it before. But, hey, we become the God of War. <laughs> in case uh, in case you thought that wouldn't happen for some reason. But here we are, man. God of War, as many people probably know by now, because I've said it a hundred times, both on the Just One More Level podcast and also during these uh, PS2 Gauntlet streams and whatnot, God of War is one of my favorite game series of all time. The original three games are all masterpieces, in my opinion. The mobile games are pretty decent, and then even the... Uh, Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Ah, uh, it's the only one I've never finished. It was a pretty good game from what I have played of it, but it's the only one that I haven't actually beaten yet. It was made after God of War 3. It was the last one made before the reboot. And I can't remember the name of it for some god-awful reason. But anyways, even that one was a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, the reboot, obviously, that they did is also pretty decent. I think I prefer the original games. I'm pretty well documented at this point of saying that, I think. But it's still a very good game. I just think this one's better, or, you know, these ones, the original trilogy. And thankfully, they can still be found to this day for a relatively low price. So if you have the chance to pick them up, I definitely highly suggest you do so. Because they are amazing games. They are mature games, though. And as such, we did put on the age gate on Twitch for this stream. And uh, I have to remember to do the same whenever we put the VOD up on YouTube. Because, you know, there are some titties. <laughs> there is there is some blood every now and then. You know, just a, just a little bit. Nothing nothing crazy or anything, you know. How do, you, how do we grapple? It's been forever. Ah, I say forever, but honestly, it's been since we did this game on the Just One More Level podcast. But I don't remember how to grapple. It's not square. It's not that. That's the magic. I don't know. Triangles that circle? 
Circle. Circle's grapple. Okay. So, yeah, you can, like, grab people and rip them in half and all kinds of crazy things. It's, uh, it's a little ridiculous. Also, I want to check just real quick, because I was a little... It doesn't look quite as sharp as I would have expected it to. So I just want to make sure all of my settings were set properly. Uh, it's turned on sharp. I mean, we could blur it if we wanted to. That helps smooth out some of the jagged edges since this game doesn't seem to have a smooth setting like the first game did. Uh, generic 4x3 is fine. Post-processing. Yeah, we don't need any of that. Video ADC. There was a specific... I mean, we can leave that on light. I have uh, higher quality cables now that I used to, so. RGB <clears throat> limited. That's the other thing that I wanted to check. Because for some reason, my capture setup doesn't like RGB full. Which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Like, my monitor and everything can support it just fine. But the capture setup is always a little darker than it should be if I have it set to full. So I always have to remember to set that to the the lower mode uh limited or whatever you know words <laughs> so yeah we uh you start out this game as the god of war kratos after after the first game it takes place i don't know exactly how long afterwards but a, you know a little while afterwards and uh you are already kind of uh picking a fight with the gods again something that you probably shouldn't be doing but Kratos never really learns. He just kind of does stuff and then figures out that he probably shouldn't have done it later. Hey, Mr. Noodle with the five bitch here. Thank you, love. Slowly but surely working your way up that leaderboard there again, eh? <laughs> and regaining your health there, too, while you're at it. Man, so I went straight to the hardest difficulty that we can play at. I don't have any of my old saves from back in the day or anything, so we weren't able to go to, like, one of the truly, uh, like, the true highest difficulty. But that may have been a little bit of a mistake going straight to hard. Because, uh, I mean, we're not dead yet, but we've taken, we've taken some hits, that's for sure. Okay, we can ignore these guys for a second. I'm pretty sure there's a health chest up here, too, if I remember correctly. But we are going to try not to use that as we just mess this dude up. And then, uh, hello, thank you. <laughs> so God of War was one of the first big games that I ever played at least that had quick time events galore, just all over the freaking place. And it looked amazing because of it. These huge cinematic battles that just uh, probably wouldn't have been completely possible otherwise. I mean, you had games like Shadow of the Colossus that obviously had you fighting some very large creatures. But I still feel like even with those, they weren't quite as cinematic. They didn't feel as large, you know? Um, so there is a thing. I'm going to skip it. But there is a thing that you can do up here. Um, so like in the first game where there was the sex mini game, If you go... I forget which cover it is. I think it's this one. Yeah, you can kind of see there's people back there. You can break through there and have a sex mini game for extra orbs. But the orbs aren't really going to matter all that much. And as long as we don't you know, died horribly, you'll see why that stuff doesn't really matter all that much. Or, of course, if you watch the Just One More Level podcast episode, how many plugs is that now? Like four or five for the <laughs> for the podcast? Point is, we, we played this game on the podcast, in case you weren't aware. Um, and yeah, I, I got, not like super far or anything, but I got past the, the beginning area here, there. I'm hoping to get at least as far tonight, if not a little bit farther. Though, I guess we will see just how far we make it. Oh, man. And then, so what is today, anyways? Today is actually Monday. If you're watching this on YouTube, it'll... I, I don't know what day it'll be. But, if you're watching it on Twitch, today's Monday. So, Tuesday is a regular stream day for me. So, what the hell do we want to play tomorrow, man? <clears throat> I haven't really thought about it yet, to be 100% honest with you. I do know I'm probably, depending on what I end up doing, I'm probably going to have a bit of a birthday live stream. And during that, I think I want to play Kingdom Hearts 1. So that one's off the table, because I want to play that. We could do 
maybe one of the Mortal Kombat games. I've never been particularly good at them, but I think it would be pretty fun to play one. It's It's been a long time since I've played any Mortal Kombat games, so I'm probably going to be extra bad at them, but they are fun games to play nonetheless. So that's not a terrible idea, I feel like. Maybe we'll do that. This memory card, so I use a, an aftermarket memory card because it has a crap ton of space, but I feel like it is extra slow with the first write to it from each game like the anytime you make a new save file i don't know if maybe this is just a particularly large save game or if it's just that memory card like the more full it gets the slower it gets or something i have no idea but like it's taking forever man and i've noticed that with a couple other games too i thought my game froze up or something but sure enough just like that it works eventually it just takes you know a while <laughs> to say the least <laughs> sorry if i'm clearing my throat a lot too i Finally got Mr. Noodle her snack wrap so she can stop yelling at me for not getting them for her. And uh, I got myself a couple a couple sliders and whatnot too while we were there. And anytime I eat, I get a little bit a little bit congested. <clears throat> so got a little bit of a little bit of stuff stuck in my in my throat there. What's that face for, Mr. Noodle? Do, do you not want your snack wraps? Were they no good? I I, I bad snack wrap getter. So this is one of those games too. You you might notice how powerful we are right now. Um, this is one of those classic style of games where you start out super powerful, and then uh, things happen and you are less powerful later on. So <laughs> that's why we we have so much health and everything now. I promise you, it won't last forever. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. As awesome as it would be to start off from where we left off in God of War 1, yeah, it's not going to let us do that, sadly. It'd be cool if it did, though. Blaming things on me, it was delicious. What am I blaming on you? I didn't say it was your fault. I was just stating a fact that, hey, I'm a little phlegmy because I got some, I got some food and I just ate it right before the stream, that's all. I'm not saying it's your fault. You didn't force feed me the food, love. <laughs> It was delicious. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Would have been pretty sad if you didn't. Can I can I not jump off here at all? I guess not. Oh well. I, I there was something there. I don't remember exactly how to get it or if it's worth getting. I have 100% completed God of War one and two and probably three. Although I don't specifically remember doing three. Um. But yeah, I, I 100% completed them, except for one of the games. I think it was God of War 2 had a bunch of side stuff that you that you would do, where you would fight like just just waves of monsters and shit like that. I didn't 100% complete that, but the whole game I did, and I did it all on the hardest difficulty. So I've played through it a few times. I uh, I've played a little bit of God of War, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Although, as you can tell, i it's been a while. I'm a little rusty, man. This is, on this particular section, whenever I was playing the game, uh, like a year ago or however long it was, it took me so incredibly long to get through this section. It's actually kind of embarrassing, to be honest. I died so many times. Well, right there, I guess we died. Which is weird, because I clearly had some health left there. If you look at the green bar up top, after I got hit, but before it popped up and said, you are dead, it clearly had some health left. So I think this game might be cheating a little bit. I don't know. Uh, okay, so yeah, no, it wasn't really worth <laughs> getting this then, I suppose. I couldn't remember. So for anybody that's not aware, in God of War, there are different collectibles that you can get that give you permanent upgrades to like your magic and health and stuff like that. So I didn't know if maybe it was one of those. I couldn't remember. But no, it was just a red orb chest, so. Didn't particularly matter. Like, it would have been fine if we didn't get it. But, oh well. All right, so let's see here. Whenever he does that, I don't really know. I guess we could use magic. Because whenever you're using magic, you're invulnerable. Like, you can't take any damage. So I guess we probably could have done that. And then whenever he hits the ground like that, like goes for the big wind up, we just want to kind of uh, get as far away from him as is possible. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're gonna end up dying here again, man. 
just to be honest. All right, so right here, he's gonna he's gonna smack the ground. So we just want to be all the way over here, and really we wanted to be in the air whenever that happened, cause uh, cause yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end up dying here again. <laughs> just calling it now. We're gonna die. Well, we got a little bit of health. Maybe we'll be okay. Maybe maybe we're good. We just gotta hurry up, make our way over there. But this is only stage one. There is another stage to this boss battle. So there's still a pretty decent chance that we get a little uh, messed up before the end of this. But if we hurry the hell up and don't mess up the quick time events here, that'd be pretty sad after all of that. We just hit freaking like triangle instead of X or something. Screw it all up. It'd be neat if there was like specific screw ups for each like button combo that you mispress. Like if it, if it was X and it was supposed to be triangle, it'd be cool if there was a different animation that would play out, you know? Or if it was X and you hit square, if there was one for that, etc., etc., that'd be neat. I'm fairly certain, or yeah, I'm like 99% sure that there's not, but it'd be really cool if there was. <laughs> ah, I was trying to do a magic combo there, or not a magic combo, but magic there, but I was in the middle of a combo, so that was dumb. Yep. I jumped way too early on that one. We got to be getting close, though. Is he is he down? He's down. Okay. Good, 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 good. Run over here like a motherfucker, and please do not mess up the quick time events. I'd rather not do this fight again if we don't have to. Square. Square. We got this. Easy. No problemo. <laughs> Alternate pressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. We can do that. Back and forth. And we're free. Just chop his whole wrist off, man. Should have just dug the knife in there and went around in a circle. Just took it all off, you know? So that was a hell of a lot better than the last time I played. The last time I played, I think it took me like three or four tries to get through that section. Just a little embarrassing, to be honest, but you know. Even that wasn't an amazing showing, but at least we made it through without dying. We'll take what we can get. I think last time I was playing it on PS3 as well, because I have the PS3 remaster, but since this is the PS2 gauntlet, obviously this time I'm playing it on the original PS2. And honestly, I mean, other than the fact that it doesn't look quite as nice, other than that, I mean, it's still the same game, so... No complaints there. I think it's just as nice on the PlayStation 1 as it is on the, or I'm sorry, on the PlayStation 1. It would be amazing if somebody did do a demake of God of War for the PlayStation 1. I'd love to see how that would come out. But no, I meant, uh, <laughs> it's just as good on the PlayStation 2 here as it was on the PlayStation 3. And there is even a widescreen mode that you can play it in. It does support 16.9. I just decided it was, uh, I'd rather just keep it on invalid date. Hmm. I decided I'd rather just keep it on the 4x3. 4x3 to me is what the PlayStation 2 is, you know? As nice as it is to fill up the entire screen with whatever game you're playing, God of War, or just any PS2 game, was made to be played on 4x3, in my opinion. I'm sure there's people out there that will disagree, but... I tried Killzone 16x9, and I, like, looking back at it, watching the video back on YouTube or whatever, I, I regretted it a little bit. I did end up switching it to 4x3 before the end of the, the stream, but I kind of wish I would have just spent the whole time playing it in 4x3, because so I think I actually ended up liking the way it looked better 4x3 than 16x9. Yep, I know. I know how to move stuff, I promise. I mean, it has been a little while since I played. I, I've definitely forgotten some stuff, but I don't think I've forgotten how to move things. <laughs> So some simple puzzles. That's what God of War is all about. And down here is there... I know we can get up there, and I'm going to get up there. But yeah, I was going to say, i got to remember how to get around this place first, though. So we do that, and then now we can... Well, I guess we didn't have to do that, actually. And then since we're so close to this one, though, we can just roll right through it see that 
freaking puzzle solving masters here and then we can just leave that there but before we leave that there if you notice whenever we went through the hallway there was a bunch of boxes at the end that i said we we're gonna get how are we gonna get them you might ask well if it's not already abundantly clear by me breaking the top off of this and pushing it over here we can use this as a platform to get up top guys isn't that cool so yeah, <laughs> this is how secrets and things usually work in God of War. Just really simple puzzles. There are some that are a little bit more complicated. And I remember one in, I think it was in God of War 1, which was interesting. There were like these very faint glowing circles on the ground. And if you were to press circle on each one of them and then like get to the end and stand in a specific spot or, or maybe it was just whenever you press circle on the last one or whatever, it would show you a message in the sky, like, uh, and now I have become death or, or whatever that famous quote from, I think it's Oppelheimer is. And then you would just get a crap ton of red orbs. Like, <laughs> like it's just a neat little thing. And at the end of the day, it gives you more red orbs, which of course, if you don't know, gives you basically experience points. So you can increase your weapons and magic and uh, all that abilities or levels or whatever. All right, so these archers are annoying as shit. So we are going to come over here a little bit and just freaking pinwheel around, causing massive freaking <laughs> mists of, of, of blood. But it also makes quick work of them, so perfect. Yeah, so we were, I mean, I can't help myself. I feel like I have to collect all these orbs and everything. And if I go into the pause menu here, you can see so, like, Athena's Blades are already at level 5, because, again, we start out being super powered up. Not literally with everything from the first game, but with two of the things from the first game and already at max level. As well as a lot of our special attacks and uh, abilities and things that we had from the first game. Although, I don't think we have the, the Rage ability, right? That one looks like it's gone. The Rage of Olympus or whatever they called it. Oh, look who it is! It's our favorite buddy! Coming back for more. <laughs> I love the, the slow motion there. Us jumping through the air. That's perfect, man. It's beautiful. Kratos. I do not need your help, Zeus. I can take down this beast. I offer you more than help, Kratos. I offer you power. I offer you the Blade of Olympus. It was this blade that ended the Great War and defeated the Titans. Drain your godly powers into the sword, Kratos. Only then will you reach your full potential. Why do you aid me now? What I do now, I do for the good of all Olympus. Yeah, it's kind of weird that, you know, Zeus would just out of nowhere decide to help us out like that, you know? I wonder why. Does he got a uh, some sort of bone to pick with Athena as well, I wonder? Like, hmm, strange, huh? Oh, well. I'm sure... I'm sure there's uh, nothing nefarious going on at all, right? Just perfectly normal for good old Zeus to help us out a little bit. No worries. He's always been one of our biggest fans, after all, you know? Hasn't at all hated Kratos the entire time that he's been on his rampage i mean you can't really blame him right we are literally killing his kin or like fighting his his kin with the first Ares, and then well now you know we're we're in a bit of a spaff with athena like <laughs> like you can't you can't blame him for being a little upset with us but hey he's helping us out now for some reason so that's cool right good old good old guy zeus man you know you can't say that he's not a good, a decent guy. Can we please use the freaking magic? Thank you. <laughs> I'm just surrounded by dudes getting picked at with the stupid freaking arrows. I'm trying to use the magic and it was just refusing to work. That was annoying as shit. But all right, we got it. We got it. It's all, oh, you're still coming over the edge. Look how cute. Yeah, you picked the wrong ledge to come over there, bro. You probably shouldn't have done that. I'm curious what... Mr. Noodle, you're the only person I've seen in chat so far. If you're listening, what is your favorite God of War game, love? 
Mine is probably God of War 2. Although I do really, really like God of War 1 as well. It's hard to pick between those two. I really like God of War 3, don't get me wrong, but I do think I liked 1 and 2 better. Just going off of memory, but it's it's been a long time since I've played it, so... Oh, yeah, well... Freaking archers are the worst, man. <laughs> you need to replay them and finish that one you got stuck on? Yeah, so the one she got stuck on is the same one, actually, that I never finished. The one that, uh, the name I can't remember. Uh, it's not... Chains of Olympus was one of the PSP ones. And then you had... Ghost of Sparta, that was the other PSP one. Ascension, right? That was the name of it. Pretty sure. God of War Ascension. It was a, a PS3 or... 4? A 3. PS3 God of War game made after God of War 3. And if I remember correctly, it's actually a sequel to... Or, I'm sorry, a prequel to all of the God of War games. Making it technically the first. In the, in the timeline, at least. So the true boss of every God of War game, freaking uh, skinny-ass ledges that you gotta traverse around. These things are so easy to fall off of. <laughs> like, honestly, I think I died more to them than anything else most of the time. At least whenever I was practiced in God of War. Right now, uh, you know, don't be surprised if we if we die to a, a boss or two every now and then. You don't know, haha, you don't remember them at all? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Ascension, love. Because I, I was playing a little bit of it the... I was going to say the other day, but I guess it was actually a month or two ago. <laughs> I was playing a little bit of it, and I'm fairly certain. Don't you have a disc with, like, all the games for... Wait, what? Didn't we save to slot two earlier? Oh, no, is it broken? <laughs> The, the memory card may be broken. <laughs> but on save. Memory card slot one. We definitely saved a slot two this time. Okay, it's there. Although it says invalidate on both. Before we actually quit the game, we might have to save to slot two. To the to the official memory card that I have in. So I'd rather not lose the progress. And you have a disc with like all of the games for PS4 or 3. Yeah, so I mean... Yes... I don't remember if it has all of them or if it's two different collections. And and then God of War Ascension, though, is separate from all of them. Like, it's its its own standalone game. It's not on one of those combo pack deals or anything like that. But yeah, I have the, I have the remasters for all of them. And the originals of, well, God of War 1 and 2. And then... Do I have... I don't think I actually own the originals for Ghost of Sparta and uh, the other one anymore. I did once upon a time, but that was, you know, a long time ago before I... My house caught on fire and everything, so... I don't think I have the original PSP games anymore. I'll have to get a copy of those again. Fun times, yeah. <laughs> uh, we almost died. That was close. Too close. <laughs> All right, so, man, we got to get that sword. Get that sword and all of our troubles will be solved. If we can just, just get to the sword. Get to the, oh, wait. <laughs> I always forget in this part. You got to, you got to, you got to damage the dude a little bit first. And then you can do the whole sword thing. Oh, okay, well, yeah, that's fine. You're just going to go all the way over there? Don't take that, <laughs> bruh. All right, R1. Yes! Funnel all of our power into the sword. And don't pay attention and take a bunch of hits. That's part of the... What he's telling us to do, right? <laughs> so every time he punches down, we just, gotta, we just gotta hit him a little bit. You can't get very many hits on him, but you can get a couple at least. Should probably also use this. That'd probably do much more damage. And since it makes us invulnerable anyways, it's, yeah. Like, this is the actual strat to do, probably. Yeah, you want to replay them. Okay, the rest of Little Big Planet and finally finish Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah, you need to do all of that, love. Um, Little Big Planet, there's only, what, one Little Big Planet game left that you need to play? And then the new one that I got for you. Um, 
Sackboy's Adventure or whatever it's called. And Kingdom Hearts, you haven't actually played any of them yet, right? You started Birth by Sleep, but I don't think you even finished that one. And you've never played one, two, three, anything like that. Which little big planet is it? Number three, maybe, that you still need to play? Think you got through one character? You might have finished Ventus or something. I forget what order, like what the normal order is to play through them. Okay, we're standing a little too close, obviously. <laughs> yeah, you think so, Ventus? I really hope I don't die to this freaking dude. This fight is actually super easy. Like, it's just the same attack pattern over and over and over again. If I got closer, I might be able to do a little more damage per round or whatever. But this is so safe, as long as you're not an idiot like I was being. It really sucks that it takes your magic first. I wish it would take your health first and then your magic. Because as you saw how much faster we got through it with the using the magic every time you would try to hit us. The Colossus, instead of just hitting it with our blades a couple times. Yeah, take that. What you gonna do now? We got the Blade of Olympus, boy. Yeah, can't do nothing to me now, man. Literally, all the powers of a god are in this blade. What are you gonna do? Ain't gonna do shit. Can't even hurt me, man. Look at this. <laughs> now, the Blade of Olympus is really cool, but I, I do like the chains better. The chains in every God of War game are definitely my favorite. One of these days, I'm going to finish the God of War reboot. Maybe that's another one that we can do on stream at some point. After we do Ratchet and Clank and whatever the next PS2 game that we do is. Because we're, we're definitely going to be playing Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart next. Like, for sure. That's the game I'm going to be finishing. And then after that, I haven't decided which PS2 game exactly, but we're doing another PS2 game. Since we are doing kind of a PS2-centric year, or years, I guess, because it'll most likely take more than one. And uh, my co-host, Dorsman, for the podcast, has been talking about just wanting to do a year of PS2 as well for the podcast. So, yeah, expect to see a lot of PS2 stuff this year man from us the podcast on the channel all that although i do definitely want to mix it up a little bit every now and then on the channel i'm trying to i have been for a while one of these days i'll actually be able to make it happen but trying to get a gaming competition with a bunch of people that i know up and running and uh some games will probably be ps2 but a lot of games will be just uh whatever you know might be pc stuff might be xbox stuff nintendo stuff whatever nothing not locked to like a specific console just whatever we think would be fun to run through some challenges in or do head-to-head -head stuff in and uh the winner of those challenges would get things like a, a video game or a small cash prize or whatever things like that mostly just for fun but want to have a little bit of an incentive to, to try and win, you know? Give me some sort of prize at the end. And of course, the whole thing will be live streamed and put up on YouTube later and all that too, so. Of course. So we don't really need the health, so I'm just going to leave it. I don't really see the point in opening it up. Oh, see what I mean with the freaking ledges, man? I could have swore we were in the middle of it, but... At least most of the time that you fall off a ledge in the God of War games, Kratos is kind enough to grab onto it and give you another chance. But every now and then, man, it'll just fall right off of it. And it's the worst, like... I love this whole sequence, you know? We, we're fighting the Colossus, and then we, we damage it a crap ton, get inside of him... And then we're taking him down from the inside out. Like, it's really good, you know? R1 to drop down and hang off the ledge. So then we can shimmy across underneath. Imagine that, man. Very cool. 
And I'm glad the uh, tutorial section is relatively short too. And they do it in a fun and interesting way. It's always one of the worst things in a video game whenever you're stuck in a tutorial section and it's just boring the whole time, you know? God of War is doing it with this huge fight sequence and a big spectacle of a fight. Like, I love it. So honestly, by skipping the little sex mini game in the front, it's not all that bad. Or in the beginning. I guess it's probably still for the best that we have the mature thing on because there's a lot of blood and gore. But like... We haven't been fighting any of the Gorgons or other topless beasts or anything like that, so that's cool. This is a long-ass rope, man. <laughs> Gotta make our way to the top. Come on. I think there's only one bit left after we get to the top here for the Colossus. It's been a little while, so I could be misremembering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, because we got to go up here, and then we got these, like, two beams of power here that are powering up the uh, the the eyes on this thing, or whatever the hell you want to call it. So we got to we gotta block them, because if we try to go across that rope right now, we're just going to we're gonna get hit by all that energy, and we're going to die, bro. But if we smack this thing a couple times, get it moving a little bit, and you see it's not really moving all that far, but if we lift it up, it's going to keep all that momentum and keep swinging back and forth, you see. So now it's going to block the, the freaking eye beams for us, man. Honestly, I, I growing up, I thought this was one of the coolest sequences. Like, it was a really smart, simple, obviously, puzzle. Um, also, way to press R1 and screw it up. But <laughs> simple, obviously, but I thought it was really neat, you know. Going from outside it to inside it and then all this stuff with the, the energy beam. And the eyeballs and the the rocking pendulum. It's just really good level design all around. 10 out of 10. Wood design again. Alright, so I think this is the last of the poles to bring down this, this big dude. Hey! Now we gotta we gotta freaking escape, bruh. Everything's collapsing on us now. We took down the the power source. I love this too. The view of outside, out of its mouth as it's just exploding. Ah, so good. Do you see gods of Olympus? Do you need more? Hey, uh, Kratos. Uh, Kratos behind you, bruh. Oh, oh no. Uh. Placing all of his godly power into the weapon had rendered Kratos mortal, vulnerable to the arms of death. Bloodied and beaten, he knew that to have any hope of survival, he must retrieve the blade of Olympus. Yeah, we, uh, hmm, <laughs> I think we might have messed up a little bit, but that's alright. All we gotta do is grab the sword, we'll get our, we'll get all our powers back, and we'll be alright. Yeah, it's right there, man. Hey, just hurry up. Just grab it and get rid of all these dudes. Kratos dragged himself up from the dirt. Too easy, man. Took that whole thing down. We're gonna, we're gonna get our godly powers back real quick. And then we're going to be right back at it again, man. Look at that. We made it through. Hardly. We ain't got a whole lot of health left, but we got some. I feel like that sword moved away. Like, it was a lot closer before the cutscene began. I'm fairly certain. I love, like, if you try to attack here. <laughs> like, I love the, the, the animations that they did specifically for this sequence. Of him just like being all tired, having trouble moving and shit. Very good. Oh. 
Oh, the eagle was Zeus all along. You? Yes, I am forced to attend to this matter myself. Athena refused to undo her mistake. Imagine caring for a creature such as yourself. Why? Why would you betray me? It is you who would betray me. Am I to stand idly by while Olympus is threatened? Your hands are already stained by the blood of a god. Will not let Ares' fate be my own. The gods are petty and pathetic, and your rule is weak. I grow tired of this insolence. I am the king of Olympus. And it is my way that is the way of the gods. You must vow to forever serve me. I serve no one. Then you'll leave me no choice. We got this, man. We just gotta, we just gotta, we just gotta kill Zeus real quick, man. That's all. I mean, why does your god struggle? Because he's a mortal man now, taking on freaking Zeus. I can't, I, I literally can't do anything. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. No, we gotta stop it. Thank you so much for the five bit cheer. Oh my god, we just got stabbed. <laughs> Or Kratos, or Kratos, wonder what Zeus is talking about. The cycle ends here, huh? Weird thing to say, you know? There couldn't possibly be any sort of lore behind that. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil anything. The arms of Hades reached out to claim their prize. But there was more resting on Kratos' shoulders than he could know. Kratos was destined to bring about change so severe that it would shake the very pillars of Mount Olympus. His death was something that I could not allow. I love this reveal that's coming up here. Ares, destroy my enemies, and my life is yours. Not that. That bit's sad. <laughs> Gaia, ever-present mother of Earth. I have watched you become a powerful warrior, and I have been with you through all the events of your life, but I can no longer simply watch. We will help you defeat Zeus. Death is an escape, Kratos. You are a warrior of Sparta, not a coward. Only a coward accepts death. I am no coward. Then you must fight. I will show you the way to the Sisters of Fate. Only with their power will you defeat Zeus. Ah! Ah! 
Oh, that had to hurt. We had that reveal right there, man. That the announcer from the first game and second game and subsequent games are uh, was Gaia the entire time watching us and like narrating our life to the player. I think I just, I think that was such a cool reveal, man. I love it. I don't know if that was planned from the get-go or not, but it was still it was done really well. Like I I'm really glad that's what they ended up doing with it. It's a little weird that it's telling us what the red orbs are again, because like I mean we kind of already know. You just kind of stole them all from us earlier, but... <laughs> Alright, so it is well and truly past the half hour mark that we usually take a break. So as soon as I get to a spot where I'm not dying, we're gonna we're gonna take our break right... Right about... Uh, which way we're we going? We're going up, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll get out of this zone, I guess, real quick. And then we'll, and then we'll take our break. I mean, you can't really. It's really hard to die in this section because every time you hit these things, they give you health back. And there's a save point. So, good, good, good. What we'll do? We'll go ahead and save now on the second slot, and then just to make sure that everything's safe, and then we will. Uh, we're gonna take our break. So it's just gonna be a couple of minutes while I take a drink stretch a little bit, save the game, and get rid of those pesky pre-roll ads, and then we'll be right back for another half hour or so of God of War 2. I know that the, the buttons on the PS2 controller are pressure sensitive, but uh, to be honest, it never quite felt right to me, because there's not a lot of obvious, like it's not obvious, like the the shoulder buttons are on, or the, the trigger buttons are on new, controllers right that they're pressure sensitive it kind of feels like it bottoms out but that's actually minimum pressure and then you really kind of got to give it to it to get the extra pressure press the up or down directional buttons to change your stance try it now okay okay that's kind of weird but I, I guess that's fine so that's how we go prone and whatnot oh we can also look left and right without moving so that's that's a thing we can do i guess Press L1 to snap up from behind a bunker. The more pressure you apply, the more you snap. I never would have guessed. It's nice that they let you kind of... You know, do the, the whole pressure sensitivity, snap as much as you want to snap thing and whatnot. But uh, at the same time, I feel like most of the time you're just going to be pressing the button and going, you know? Hmm. Okay. Stand up and go to the next circle. Press triangle to enable turbo mode. When turbo mode is enabled, you will run quickly when you are standing. You are unable to shoot while you are running in turbo mode. Turbo down the field to continue. Notice how the turbo meter depletes. When you are ready to continue, do something. Press circle to dive. You can dive from a standing position to crouch. Try it now. Oh. <laughs> when facing a low lying obstacle, you can jump over it while running towards. Press circle to jump over. Uh, There we are. When facing a low-lying obstacle, you can jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told us that already. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We gotta be, we gotta be standing. Okay. And then we gotta be turbo. Oh nope. Hold on. Hold on. This is this is an advanced maneuver here. Give me a second. Okay. We gotta, we gotta be running. Nope. That that didn't work. That didn't work. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hold on. We got this. Okay. So you gotta be running. Why is it not running? Am I out of turbo? Yes, I've seen this stupid message. Okay. So, turbo mode on. Do you have to, like, be touching the obstacle? I'm trying to jump before it, because, you know, you would think you would kind of need to build up your... I think I'm out of turbo. Or no. Okay, I have turbo. It's just taking a while to... to... I don't know how this works. <laughs> what am i doing wrong when facing a low all right we're back oh felt good to stand up man my leg has been bothering me the last day or two i manually rotated my tires and while doing so i just kind of made everything sort <laughs> my my back my arms my legs everything but everything else is pretty much 
like feeling a lot better at this point, except for my freaking, my freaking legs are still just tired, just worn out. That's all. I didn't like hurt myself or anything, but they, uh, they hurt nonetheless. I forget where we're supposed to be going. Is it here? Uh, hello. Oh no, we need to find myself or something, right? Corpse of a fallen Spartan. Another life cut short by Zeus. I don't remember what we're doing here. So we went over here. We saved. Oh no, why don't I remember what we're doing? Okay, we can't go over here. Can't go up here. Can't go up here. What am I missing? Why am I not remembering this at all? Like, literally at all. Yeah, we saved already. We did that. This is embarrassing. We... We got the cutscene. Ah, right there. There we go. You. My lord. I knew you could not be killed. I never lost faith. Return to Sparta. And prepare for battle. But... Our brothers are dead. You can still hold a sword. Spartans do not surrender. Do as your god commands. And what of you, my lord? I am going after Zeus. It seems I still have allies on Olympus. There we go. I don't know why I just could not see that dude. Like, the, <laughs> the whole time he was wiggling around there on the ground. No matter what I did, I could not see him there for a minute. But we got there. And now we get a fly on. I mean, I don't think this is a Pegasus. I'm sure Mr. Noodle could tell us what if this is a Alicorn or a Pegasus or whatever the hell. No. No horn. Your Just only hope is to find the sisters of fate and travel back through time to the moment Zeus betrayed you. For only then will he truly be vulnerable. Kratos, so to succeed, you will need more help than I can give. My so it's a brother slumbers deep inside his mountain prison. Go. All right, if Gaia's done now, geez. <laughs> so it's a Pegasus with some flaming wings then, eh? <laughs> Although you're pretty sure Pegasus doesn't have flaming wings, uh huh? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> Pegasus with flaming wings, that's fine. And then these are, what, griffins? Something like that, right? that we're fighting. So whenever I played the game for the podcast, we, or I, made it to right there where we climbed out of Hades, that save point that we just left. So this is actually the farthest I've been in this game in a long time. We're talking probably like seven or eight years or something since I've <laughs> played this far into the game, man. It has been a while. You're not sure. You're not sure what if Pegasus ever had flaming wings. <laughs> I I don't know if it's actually meant to be Pegasus or not. Obviously, drew some inspiration from Pegasus, or maybe some other mythological beast. But yeah. No, what you're fighting? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I I think they're called a gri uh, griffins. No, oh, we screwed up that quick time event. GG us. Good freaking job, man. Try that again. Can we catch up to it, maybe? Alright, don't screw it up this time. Freaking square is what we want to hit. Just brutal with these things, though, man. Just chopping their wings off mid-flight like that. And then to make matters worse, we're just slamming them into the ground. Like, my lord, Kratos got no chill, man. Yeah, gotta dodge. Horse with flaming wings and Pegasus still popped up. I mean, it may be called a Pegasus. I have no idea. I am a no expert on these things. We are taking more damage than I would like. Why can't we dash? 
Oh, does dashing take up our magic power, maybe? I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention to it, but I noticed that our magic meter is not full. So I'm guessing dashing uses up some of that. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, so hold on. We got that much. And then we da Okay, yeah, yeah, it definitely does. I don't know how dashing on this thing is considered a magical attack, but, you know, it's fine, whatever. Semantics, right? Press X to boost into the Raven. Okay. We did it. I screwed that up. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. <laughs> it's alright. We recovered. It's okay. Try again. Boost into it. Triangle. There we go. Oh, no. Poor Raven. I'm sorry, Birdie. I had no choice, I swear. Ooh. I like the purple weapons. They look cool. And the bullet time? Bullet time's nice. <laughs> Give us a chance to, to dodge these giant purple blasts. Up. Uh, I don't... I was going to say, I don't think there's any way we can dodge that one. I think we're just meant to get hit there. Way to transition into this next section. The Lair of the Titan. Holy crap, we have like no health. I'm assuming that's by design and we didn't screw anything up. Because <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't think there's anything else we really could have done there. I was sent here, mister, by Gaia. You know, Mother Earth. Maybe you've heard of her. This is making me think of uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. With the fight against the, the Titans there. I mean, it's completely different, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> that's what it's making me think of still. Ah, Poor Hersey. Get off my horse, bro! What'd he do to you? You must free the Pegasus critters. It is your only passage to the Sisters of Fate. Alright, well, Gaia just called it the Pegasus, so... Yeah, it must it must be a Pegasus. If Gaia calls it a Pegasus, then a Pegasus it shall be, right? Can't really argue with Mother Earth. So we lost all of our abilities too. Not only do we have all of our weapons weakened and whatnot now, but we can't do like that that big pinwheel attack or anything. So just gotta keep attacking, and he'll slowly lift his finger up. And sooner or later eventually we'll be able to uh to free him maybe we have to ah oh, man it's been so long maybe we have to unlock some other ability first hold on we'll come back we'll come back for you pegasus we haven't forgot you friend we're just taking a little bit of a detour before we come back for you these guys you still handle them the same way you do in god of war one you just <laughs> Grab them and toss them down, man. That's... <laughs> can waste your time attacking them like this if you want to. Or you can just freaking slam them off the the wall and drop them. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a much quicker way to kill them. Also, right here, whenever they're like lined up like this, just jump into them. It's just a nice insta-kill when they're in the way. I don't remember if that works the entire game, but at least in the early game, yeah. Just jump into them. I just realized these guys don't have, like, human legs, do they? They are... Are they satyrs? They look like they have hooves. So I'm thinking they might be satyrs. Ah, uh, we might be dead. We are so low on health right now. Alright, nope. We somehow survived. We really need to get a, a health chest or fight an enemy that drops a little bit of health. Either one of those would be excellent. Can we still grab people here? We can. Good, good, good. Although it doesn't seem to be damaging the other guys like it does on the vertical sections. 
Uh, I don't want to fight you people, because I'd rather not die. But getting the orbs from you is nice, though. Can't argue with that. Free XP, essentially. Uh, okay, well, not really what I was trying to do there. Uh, we died. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to grab him. Darn it, man. It's all right. Do we respawn with health at least? We do not. That's that's excellent. These things offer a little bit of health, right? Whenever we kill them. Can we can we grab them? Some things give you different stuff whenever you kill them with a, a, a grab or a grapple or whatever. I know what we're doing, guy. I promise. I heard you the first time. While we're here, how much do we need? 2750. Holy crap. Okay. Nowhere close to that. And sadly, no. It looks like these guys only drop red orbs. No health. Which, whenever we're taking more hits from them, it probably would have been best just to go. I'm surprised there's not, like, a hidden... health chest over here or something like that. Just something to help us out a little bit, you know? Would have been nice. Maybe we just, maybe if we just rush through, we'll be okay. Just ignore everybody. And just rush our way to the end. It kind of sucks that we're missing out on all these orbs, but I'm asking for too much. For one little, one little health chest is asking for too much. <laughs> Uh, we're dead. Son of a... One hit, man. One hit. That's all it took. Well, we did take one hit from one of the the bat things, too, so... We'll just ignore those from the get-go, I guess. Yep, too much. <laughs> BS. I'm calling BS. Alright. I think that would have been an excellent way to hide a little secret or something, too, you know? Putting it behind a couple of the, the fingers there if you were to attack more of the fingers at the bottom. It looks like it gave us more health this time around. I don't know for sure. I don't know what happened there. We just, like, yeeted ourselves off the freaking hillside. The, the, the cliff, whatever the hell you want to call it. What the hell was that? <laughs> that was some BS, man. That's a little annoying. You must free the Pegasus Graves. It is your only passage to the Sisters of Fate. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we should probably pay attention. I was turned around there for a second. <laughs> There's just a couple bats just chilling, kind of staring at us. I'm not 100% positive, but I think God of War might be one of those games where every time you game over, it makes itself a little bit easier. It's like secretly in the background. Okay, well, this dude's in the way. I guess we're gonna have to kill at least one of them. This won't let us freaking just run through the whole section, apparently. It's being rude is what it is. Donova, I am so mad. Don't be talking to me. You're getting a shower. Well, that's kind of rude. I'm not allowed to talk to you anymore. That's alright, we're gonna be stuck on this section apparently forever anyways, Mr. Noodle, so... I can talk to you, but you won't hear. That's alright. I'll just talk about you while you're in the shower, how about that? Since you can't hear me. Alright, so we're going to... Try to get around most of these guys. But obviously if any of them get in the way, we're probably gonna have to stop and fight them because yeah looks like we might be able to take three hits if we're lucky all right go fast thank you and then just get over here and drop drop uh please drop please drop <laughs> okay that I, I think the game is telling us no <laughs> not allowed to drop here apparently all right there we go we can, we can slide down from here. So, we lost out on like 300 orbs, which sucks, but 
it is what it is, I suppose. I must have accidentally saved over the same spot twice instead of making a new save or something. I could have swore we saved in slot two, but... I guess not, because it hasn't disappeared since that first time. So I'm assuming it's just user error, you know? Hey, we're back to some good old Minotaurs. Haven't seen these in a hot minute. I can't remember. Do they still give us health? Well, they freaking charge a lot farther than I remember. That's for sure. And grab them and shove our sword in its mouth. Health? Please be health. Yeah. Bruh, it's so satisfying. If there's one word you can use to sum up God of War, in my opinion, it's just that. Satisfying. It's a very satisfying game, man. The way you just tear through everything. Love it. Very good looking, too, for the time that it was released and whatnot. It's very, very cool. Alright, so... I don't remember there being any secrets around here in particular. Though I could certainly be forgetting something. Slide on down. And then I think this just sends us back up to the top, right? Yeah. Just does a big loop. Really uh, get a nice swing off that thing, man. From all the way down here, just whip ourselves up to the top. This game makes me wish there were more fixed angled games though. Like fixed camera angle games. It just it feels so nice. The way the camera follows you and everything just works so well. 99% of the time. Every time every once in a while it gets a, a little annoying because it won't go where you want it to go. But it almost always is just excellent, you know? <laughs> no, none of this archer BS. Get down here. Yep, none of that. Man, okay, so these these dudes really freaking chase you down. I don't remember the Minotaurs being this annoying. We might end up dying. Yep. Holy crap. Hard mode is harder than it is whenever you play this game once a week. <laughs> Because that's basically what I used to do. <laughs> I was guarding, damn it. Holy crap, we are getting our asses handed to us. Yeah, we're going to die again. I was trying to just get rid of the archer because dealing with a minotaur is not all that bad on its own. Wait. Ah, oh, that's why I'm screwing up so bad. I keep pressing R1 to block. It's freaking, <laughs> it's freaking L1, man. My bad. Uh, well, I guess maybe we lost our block. One of the archers hit us or something. All right, well, hey, now we know what we're doing wrong. So we can fix it. That's what's important, you know? Learning. Throw it into the Minotaur. Get a little bit of extra damage. And get him off our backs for a moment. So maybe we can take down these other two archers. Grab one of them, please. Holy crap, what are you doing? What are you grabbing, Kratos? There we go. Thank you. Holy shit. That should not have been that difficult, to be honest. I'm just looking around for secrets. That's why I'm, like, running around in circles here. I don't... Like I said, it's been so long, I can't really remember where all of the little chests with, like, the... I don't think they're Gorgonized in this one, are they? I don't remember, but the items that increase your, your health and whatnot. And then the urns are like special things that you can use on subsequent runs, like new costumes. Which give you different abilities, like unlimited magic, extra damage. Things like that. A lot of fun, actually. There's one that's like a, a chef uniform. I, I don't remember which God of War game each costume's from. But there's like chef uniforms and a, a cod, because you're the cod of war. Which, I, I love that one. There's a cow one, if I remember correctly. A businessman one. You can wear the the Ares armor the entire time. 
Like there's a lot of a lot of cool fun stuff there. God of war. You live. I no longer walk with the gods. Who has placed you in this torment? Zeus. My only crime was helping mankind. When I took the fires of Olympus to the mortals, Zeus considered it a betrayal. As punishment, he made me mortal and condemned me to be savagely consumed every day by this cursed bird. And then, with the fall of night, I am healed. How long have I been here? How long have I suffered this curse? I truly do not know. Yeah, so if you haven't figured it out yet, the gods, not very nice people, man. Kind of dicks, to be honest. <laughs> Release me from my torment. So, <laughs> I mean, look, there's only <laughs> one real way we can do that, so I'm sorry, bro, but yeah, you got it, bro. I don't remember exactly how we go about it. I guess it doesn't look like we hit any of those things. Somewhere over the rainbow. No, uh, around here. There is something we can do. Is it that thing? Maybe it's that thing up there. Yes, yes, okay. It's all coming back to me now. Slowly but surely. All the way up and around there? No. No, 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 no. We want to go right up here. We don't need the health, do we? Nope. Oh, crap. Maybe we do have to go all the way around first. I don't remember. It's been so long. Yeah, I think we have to come back to him later. I hope that's the case. Otherwise, I'm going to be really upset whenever we don't end up killing the dude. Oh, do we get a, a bow and arrow maybe or something? I think maybe we get a bow and arrow in here. Oh good, more wall goblins. Excellent. Just what we wanted. Easy to kill, but annoying. At least now we have more than one, like, HP left, you know? If we take one or two hits, it's not the end of the world. We could really use a little bit of magic, actually, would be nice. So we could... Just do some AoE damage. Ah, these guys are so annoying. Just freaking throw them. <laughs> oh, I tore his arm off and beat him with it. Talk about freaking brutal, man. Of course we'll save. You always save when the game gives you the opportunity to. What was that last area called? Hand Palace? <laughs> I might have misread it. I, I wasn't paying that much attention to the name of it. It, just, it looked like Hand Palace and it caught me off guard. If that is the name of it, that's a little weird. Yeah, just toss him off the freaking cliff. It's one way to deal with him. It is Gorgonize, okay, so that's one of them, but there is still another power-up that we can get, though, too, for sure. Then, I believe we come back to that as well later on, after we have the uh, bow and arrow or whatever. Mr. Noodle with the 5-bit cheer, so I guess you're out of your shower now then, huh? I feel like that's a pretty quick shower there, love. 
Thank you for the five bits, though. I appreciate it. That was quick. Especially whenever it's cold in these winter months like this, man. I like to just kind of stand in there, turn the water up way too hot, and just, <laughs> just kind of... Yeah, it was very hot. There's no more hot water. Okay, yeah. That's the one problem with taking a very hot, hot shower is it doesn't always last uh, particularly long. Ooh, how do we get this open? I don't remember. Uh, so if we... This is just our way back down, right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. But it actually... Yeah, it opens it. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, kind of. As soon as I heard the, the clicking sound, I remembered that it's like a, technically, a, a, it's not, like you can't see it attached to anything, I don't think. But it's attached to like a gear or whatever that activates that door. You were freezing before you got in. If you need to turn up the temperature a little bit or whatever, you can. Like I don't want you to, to freeze, you know? Okay. Oh, speaking of Gorgons and whatnot. I like the design of these ones a little bit better than I did in the, the last one. They're still annoying as shit, though. Like, with that turning to stone ability that they got. It's terrible. Because, like, I mentioned it in the last video, if anybody watched the, the last one. I may have mentioned it in the podcast episode, too. I don't remember. But you can get frozen, like, when you're in the middle of the air. Or especially whenever there's a bunch of these things fighting you at the same time because like one of them can freeze you and then if another one of them hits you then you're you're just dead like that's just gg like that is it and i hate them for that although it feels like in this game in god of war 2 it seems like they uh lessen the amount of time i definitely did that right it seems like they lessen the amount of time that they spend doing the oh we screwed that up okay we're just gonna kill it regularly because I'm obviously going to keep screwing up the freaking quick time event QT. Uh, the time that they try to freeze you, it seems like they lessen that, which is nice. Because sometimes those beams can last forever. And yeah, as you can see here, whenever you're fighting like two or three of them, imagine fighting like three of these things, but their beam lasts in two or three times as long. So basically, like as soon as one of them's done trying to freeze you, the next one's going... And, I mean, like, that's already happening a bit here, right? So if it lasted any longer, it would... Yeah, it, it can be bad sometimes in God of War 1. But, it's not the end of the world. And like I said, it feels better so far in this one. Uh, we are going to die, though. Holy crap. Yeah, we need, we need some health. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to go straight to hard mode after going so long without playing this game. <laughs> but, like, if I was playing personally, this wouldn't bother me at all. Like, on my own time, I mean. But I hate whenever I'm live streaming and I get stuck on a section for a while. It just feels, it feels bad. Like, bad content, just showing the same thing over and over and over again. But, I mean, I say that, but then I also watch, like, Mario players playing Kaizo levels and whatnot that take hours upon hours of just doing the same thing over and over again. So, you know, I guess it's probably not all that bad. But it's still, uh, I don't know. Feels like something you shouldn't do though. Even if that's not really the case. I can't wait until we, I think it's in this one. It might not be God of War 3 or until God of War 3 though. We get the ability to reflect the Gorgon's freezing thing back at them. Is it still... Is it still magic that we get from these things? We're gonna try this again. Uh, red orbs now. No magic. Well, I mean, we don't... We haven't unlocked magic yet. So maybe that's why, but... So I guess there's no real, like, upside or downside to... Doing the QTE kill on these things. Other than the fact that it would technically kill them a little bit quicker. Alright, so the stupid birds are back again. If the Gorgons... Uh, I don't know if anybody's noticed, but the Gorgons can actually freeze the, the bats or birds or whatever too. 
and kill them that way because they'll fall out of the air. Which is really nice. The circling QTs are the actual worst. And of course, that's the only ones you ever do with the Gorgons. With the joystick. Uh, okay, yeah, I can, I can, look, I know how to shake the L-stick, man. I've been shaking the L-stick my entire life. No problemo, I promise. I just need you to die, please, holy shoot. I don't really want to fight the birds. I, I really just want to kill Medusa. But the birds are really making that difficult. It's also, like, a lot harder to see what the hell she's doing. Whenever these things are flying around in front of her constantly. Good. Are the birds gone now? Nope. Alright, don't screw up the QT. We gotta, we gotta get this. Because if we screw it up, we might die. I think we're good. I think we did it. GG. Just one bird left. Hopefully we can handle one little, little dude. All right, excellent. Thank you. Sweet Lord, baby Jesus. Thank you. Is there a health chest by any chance? There is not. Although it looks like there may be one down there. You're able to break or interact with shining objects. Well, thanks game. I don't know if I would have figured that out without you. I'm not a servant of Zeus, man. Gaia literally sent me on this mission. Did she not, like, use her telepathic abilities to, to tell you what was going on or something? Or are you two just not getting along anymore? Did you, like, have a one-night stand or something and now you're in the middle, you're falling out? I'm sorry. Look, I won't talk about her, man, if it's a if it's a touchy subject for you. You're warm now. The heater actually just shut off. You're going to put your hoodie back on and get under the blanket? It's not that cold, man. A hoodie and a blanket? Like... Our house is set to like 68 degrees. Like, <laughs> like for some people that might be a little bit chilly, but it's not freezing, you know? Holy crap. Typhoon's Cavern. I was kind of hoping that we would actually get the chance to fight this guy tonight. But since we got started a little bit late, that's pretty much all the time we have for tonight. Technically, I mean, we have like 10 more minutes, but I don't remember how much longer it is till the next save point or whatever. And I don't want to end up getting stuck in, like, some huge, long section. So I think we're going to have to call it here. This section is a little bit neat, though. He's, like, trying to blow you off. Yeah, right there. With all of his, uh, his air. And you have to, like, get to the save zones. Yeah, I'm sure everybody out there has played games like that before. And then eventually you get a bow and you, you shoot his glowing eye there. So that works out. Noodle was struggling this winter. I can see that, man. <laughs> But all right, yeah. Thank you, everyone, so much for being here. I appreciate you all hanging out with me a little bit while we did this little shorter kind of thing just because I wasn't able to stream Sunday, so I want to make sure to do at least one extra stream. Hopefully, after this week will be... This next week will be uh, mostly back to normal it's my birthday week so like i'm gonna be out for a few days because of that and whatnot and then the week after we're gonna have to swap out our saturday night streams for a different day but other than that we should be back on our normal like three nights one day stream every week hopefully fingers crossed as long as work doesn't screw up my schedule too much more we'll be back on the normal stuff but yeah again thank you so much everybody for being here and i hope to see you again next time bye bye y'all